For the past months, my playstyle in RuneScape has been locking myself into one grind at a time for the on-drop rate series and see what the results are, but I want to try in this video to see how much money can I make in one week if I get to do anything that I want. I've opened a new tab I can put loot in and also turned them into platinum tokens as we go during the video to keep track of the money made. So let's get into the first activity of the video. It's going to be the Phantom Muspa. And I've actually been very lucky here already. I got one of the best items you can get in only 9kc. But I still want to get the Ancient Icon and the Frozen Cash for the Collection Log items. And maybe at that point I will swap to another activity. It depends on how good it is. Yo! Venator shard number two. That's one in 100. I got two of them now in 14kc. I think I'm probably going to be selling these right away because they are unfortunately crashing. I think they still have a decent value though. All right, 7 million. That's not too bad. Oh, let's go. Frozen cash. That is one of the items I wanted from this grind. Only the ancient icon left after this one, but uh, that is like a loot box from this boss. It can really give anything. All right, let's see what we get from opening this. And we get, oh my god, 12 rain our seeds. That is probably worth a lot. How much is that? 313k. Oh my god, ancient icon as well. 25kc and the entire boss except for the pet is completed. That is kind of insane. I think the ancient icon is one in 50, so not super rare, but I basically was super spooned on everything. I mean, doesn't that look pretty good? The only thing that I miss is the pet. And I actually feel like doing more of this boss, I'm going to keep going for quite a while. I'm probably only going to show the Venator shards from now on if I get any more of them or if I get the pet. Oh, a third Venator shard in 40... <laughs> 41kc. Let's look at the collection log. 41kc, 1 in 100. I have three of them. I actually sold the second one for 8.3 million, so it's actually going up in price, which is really surprising. So hopefully I get more of them in the future. I get even more spoon than I already am, and I can sell them for maybe even more. Oh, another one? Jesus! 58kc, three during this video, and overall four of them in 58kc. This is getting ridiculous. Third one sold for 9.1 million GP. Just look at this. 7 million, 8 million, and 9 million. Can I get another one that goes for 10? That would be nice. Whoa, that is a massive drop. That's like... Actually, with the price of Essence, the current price of them, that's probably like a 1 mil drop, which is kind of insane. And here we go. This is the last kill that we're doing for this video on the Phantom Muspa, at least for now. And that is 100kc on the counter. And we did 91 kills in this video. We also got a hard clue scroll that I see now. So let's go and complete that. And this is the loot that I got from the hard clue scroll and the elite clue scrolls during the grind. And after this, we have sold everything that I got from the boss. And it looks like we're going to be getting like 20 million from the actual items. 21 million. So let's actually turn that into platinum tokens and see how much money did we make in 91 KC of the new boss, the Phantom Muspa. The answer is 45.5 million GP. That is pretty ridiculous. Today we are starting off with the Corrupted Gauntlet, so let's see if we can beat the 45.5 million GP today that we made yesterday. And if we get really lucky here, it definitely has the potential to. I was live streaming at this point, that's why there is a face cam, and uh, this happened. Oh! Let's go, dude! Uh, armor Seed from the Corrupted Gauntlet. 13kc, actually, that's not that bad. And an Elise Clue Scroll as well. <laughs> Spoilers from livestream. Yep. Let's go. And the seed sold for 5.5 million GP. And there we go. That is 20 completions of Corrupted Gauntlet. And let's have a look at the last one. Pretty mediocre, but this is all the loot that I got. 8.7 million according to the tracker. So I think that's pretty successful. The Elite Clue Scroll that I got from the grind was terrible, but we did get a Master. And the Master is 133k. And straight after that, I felt like doing some Solcanos. I hopped into the Solcano host friend chat and found some groups, and I did 30kc. It took actually quite some time. It's a pretty slow boss to kill, but let's have a look at the loot. And here is the loot from that, 3.8 million, but I do feel like doing some soul run now, so that is what I'm going to jump in right after this clip.
During this solo grind, I'm going to be camping the Twisted Bow with Fulmasauri the entire time, making it basically as easy and AFK as possible. So let's see if we can get any luck and get some uniques. Oh, uncut onyx, 2 million GP, pretty early into the grind as well. It's not the best unique to get, it's the least valuable, but uh, 2 million GP for one solo kill, I'll definitely take it. It is actually starting to get really late at this point, it's almost 1 o'clock at night, and uh, I'm going to be doing 50 KC on solo, I think, and after that, I'm going to be selling everything that I earned during this video, and see how much we made today, and then I'm going to bed, and we're going to continue on day 3. And there it is, that is KC number 50, what are we going to get for this one? A pretty mediocre drop, but uh, this is all the loot that I got from the 50 KC, 7 million GP, but let's go ahead and sell everything that I got today and see how much money we made. So we ended the first day on 45.5 million, and after the second day we have 64.9 million, meaning today we made 19.4 million, but it's time for me to go to bed because it's almost 2 o'clock at night. Welcome to day 3 of the video, we're going to be starting off this one by doing some TOA and hopefully land on a massive purple. Imagine if I would get any Masori piece, the staff, just anything really is pretty decent profit at this raid. Alright, let's see, are we going to get absolutely spooned on a 270 first TOA completion? Would be very nice. And we are not lucky. And that is now 5 KC done, 4 of them on expert mode and 1 on the normal one, which I did in the beginning. Let's see what we can get. Can we get a purple? The answer is no. What is this? I had no idea you could even get 2 of the cache of runes. I mean, let's loot them all. Let's see what we get from this. Oh my god, that, that's a decent amount of money from one single chest. I mean, one single loot of TOA. 677k, pretty decent. And of course, also the gold ore, which is 60k. I've now been here for 9 hours and I've not seen a single purple and uh, this is going to be my last one, a 350. If I do not get a purple here, I am going to be doing something else because I'm not about to spend like a 14 hour day only doing TOA and getting absolutely nothing. Can we just have one? It would be so nice to uh, not go completely dry here on the TOA grind. And the answer is white light again. So I've probably not made that much money on this, unfortunately, even though I spent like nine hours here. But uh, let's go ahead and sell everything and see what we made. So from one normal raid and 14 expert raids, the overall money that I made was 6.5 million GP, which is not that much. I probably used around 5 million just in supplies. So we just barely made money, I think, with this. But we're up to 71.4 million but I actually woke up very early today, so even though I've done TOA for 9 hours, we still have a couple of hours left to go. So let's jump into something else and see if we can get more lucky. An item that is currently worth quite a lot of money is the Senite Shard. It is almost 14 million GP, and they are dropped from Demonic Gorillas, which I have been notoriously lucky at. They are 1 in 300 drop rates, I've done 900 KC, and I've got 8 of them. So let's actually do some Demonic Gorillas, see if we can get lucky and get a free 14 million GP. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That is the item, that, it's not worth much, but that is the item I was going for in my initial on drop rate with Demonic Gorillas video, and I didn't get it. It's 1 in 750, and I got it now, after like 5kc. Dude, RNG can be so fun at times. Yes, there we go, 13.5 million. Senai Shard, we made so much more now from the Money Gorillas than doing TOA for like an entire day. That is really nice though, save the day. So it turns out the Money Gorillas is pretty profitable. We made 17 million GP from that and the supplies was probably not that expensive compared to TOA here. So we definitely made a lot more money on this one. Of course, we just got kind of unlucky with TOA, but let's put everything in. And we started this day by 64.9 million mark and we ended at 88.4. So I think that is 23.5 million GP made today. But let's go ahead and go to bed and wake up tomorrow for day number four. So I just woke up and you know what? I'm giving TOA another try for day four. I would love to get just one purple today. And I'm doing 350s, so there's a decent chance, 6% chance every single time. And I think I'm going to be going for around 10 350s. So we have like a 61% chance or 62% chance during this day to actually get a purple. So let's see if we can get one on the first one. Please bless RNG. Never lucky. Oh my god, no way! 
No way I just got the pet. No way. I'll take that over a purple any day. That is so rare. I closed the recorder because I wasn't expecting to get anything. Oh my god. I can't metamorphosize it because uh, I don't have the... I think I have to kill like each boss with all the invocations in expert mode or something. But that is such a crazy pet to get. Ray number two, and we just hit 80 expert completions. And uh, let's have a look. Are we going to beat the pet by getting a purple? And the answer is no. Okay, I have to be honest with you guys. I am having the worst time right now with TOA. I did like seven raids, 350s, all of them in a row. I did not die a single time. I have now died five times in a row. I think, I think I'm honestly on like a tilt streak right now, which is very rare for me. So you know what? I'm going to lower it to like 300 instead of 350 just to get some completions to raise my motivation a bit. Okay, that is what I needed. I'm going to be doing two more completions, and I think they're going to be both 305. I just want to get the completions at this point. We still have a decent chance of getting a purple, 4.63%. Are we going to get lucky this time? Please have a loved one. We are never lucky. And we're doing one more after this one. Can we get lucky on this one? The answer is no. All right, this is the last TOA raid I'm doing for today. I might do some more later in the video if I do not get a purple right now, but please, I would just love one single purple. Can I get one? No, I cannot. But the last loot is going to be worth eh, 500k. That's not that bad. What is even worth anything in this chest? I guess the dragon stones? Yeah, that's most of it. And all the loot from 10 TOAs this time was 4.8 million. Obviously, basically all the money from TOA is just in the uniques, and we have not been super lucky, but we are now up to 93.2 million, but we are not done for the day. With the release of the Nightmare Muspa, an item that went up in price a lot is the Armadil Crossbow, because it's really good at that boss for the Sapphire Bolts, and I've been very lucky, as you can see, on Commander Siliana in the past on Armadil Crossbows, so I'm going to be doing it for a bit. I don't have too much time left of the day, but maybe we can squeeze one out. And that is 50 KC done on Commander Siliana. And I'm probably going to go to like 100 or even more than that. But uh, it is not looking great for today. I have not really got anything today. And if you don't get anything great from Commander Siliana or TOA, you basically make no money. You have got to be kidding me, man. Uh, when I did when I did Siliana last time, I got so many Saradomins light. I guess my curse still keeps going on. Ooh, God Sword Shard 2. It's, it's better than a Saradomins light in terms of value, but 150k. Alright, so we just hit 100kc and this is the loot right here. And uh, yeah, we haven't got any uniques at all. Today has not been a great day for money making. But uh, I'm going to stay here for a bit longer because I'm going to bed in like an hour. So maybe in the last hour we can get something. Yo, the first drop. It's so bad, man. Saradomin Sword, it's the most common one. 262k. I'll take it. We had one elite from that grind as well. So let's have a look at what we get from this one. They are usually pretty bad and this one is no exception. Okay, so we made 1.6 million GP from Siliana, and yes, that does include 150k from the Elite, and if we put everything in today from TOA and Siliana, we made only 6.4 million. No way! No way did I just get two pets in one video! I wanted a more consistent moneymaker for day number 5, to start off at least, I make some money today after the abysmal day yesterday. Oh my god, I... How is this a thing? I, I have been so lucky in that way at least. I mean, just look at this, 135kc, the entire log is completed. Honestly, if you want my real opinion, I think the boss might be bugged. The drop rate seems to be very insane for everyone, but not sure. But I went ahead and killed 50 Muspa and this is all the loot, so we made some decent money already and it's only been around 2 hours, so we still have a good amount of the day left. Also from the Muspa I got a hard end elite clue scroll, so let's go ahead and open them real quick. The hard one is not even unique, so many items and only 34k, that is kinda sad. Let's open the elite and see what we get. And we get a rangers, oh my god, that's 4 million GP? I feel like I got this one not that long ago, it's not a collection of items as you see, and it was like 1 million at the time, I feel like. 
That is money. Maybe I've been a bit stubborn with TOA, but I feel like it's worth to do again today now that I got at least 11 million GP secured. And if I just get one purple, that's all I want. One single purple, it could be so much money. I don't know why I keep doing this. TOA has been so bad for me in this video. I just completed another 10 350 raids. This is number 10. It's been seven and a half hours of doing TOA and I've got absolutely nothing once again. This is, I think, like raid 35 expert in this video and we've got absolutely nothing. And for this one, we are getting nothing again. So I don't know. I, I don't know if it's a smart move to keep doing TOA, but I just want one purple. Otherwise, it's like time sunk cost fallacy, whatever it's called. Because I feel like I should be getting any purple anytime soon, but for today, I'm done. And here is the elite, at least, that we got from TOA. So let's go ahead and open it. And it's not too bad. 300k compared to other elites. For the last, like, two hours of the day, before I go to bed, I'm going to do some crop the gauntlet. So let's pray for some RNG. Oh, that is some money. 300k, two dragon halberds, not a unique, but I'll take it. You know, I've been very lucky with pets in this video, so imagine maybe I could get the Hunlef pet. That would be very nice. Can I get one? Not this time, but maybe there is a chance. 10k C done right here, and the last chest of day number 5. Can we get lucky and get something good? And the answer is no, but we did get some decent money from this, more consistent money. We got 2 million GP, but let's sell everything from day number 5 and see what we get. You know what? For another day of getting absolutely no unique at all, spending like 8 hours at TOA getting nothing, 21, nearly 22 million GP is pretty good, I would say. And we are now up to, after day 5... 116 million GP, but any time in the last two days, if I get a massive drop, that could actually double. Oh my god, no way, finally, we got a purple, I've done 4350 raids, 8 today, oh my god, finally. So in this video, I started on 67 expert raids, and I've pretty much only done 350s, and it took me 40 raids to get a purple. I don't even care at this point if it's a light bearer, I just wanted one, otherwise I felt like the time was so wasted. Of course I got the pet, which was really lucky, but I wanted money. So please, can we get something good? This is all I want. The only things that I've got so far on the collection log is the pet, the Masori Mask, Light Bearer, and the Fang. So anything else other than that? No way. No way. Dude, people in the, in the clan is gonna freak out. I just doubled my bank. I just doubled my bank. I literally got the most insane I item I could have got. Uh, 118 million made so far. It was worth it. I knew it was worth keep going. I have never been this rich in the game. 1.4 mil billion GP. Not even... Okay, we're selling this. All right, so let's go ahead and sell this. It is going to go for a crazy amount of money. It's going to be 5 million tax as well, I think, or even more than that. 1395 billion GP. Let's turn that into tokens. Yes. The funny thing about this is that the video is not over. Uh, I still have one and a half days and we've made 1.5 billion GP so far. I mean, just in this one video, I got both the Tumican's Guardian and the Tumican Shadow. So I guess even though I had a massive dry spell right there with like 4350s where I got absolutely nothing, I could not have been luckier or at least the drops could not have been better. Now for the rest of the day, around 5 to 6 hours, I'm going to be doing some next masses. It's very unlikely that you get a unique in your name, but if it happens, well, then you're pretty much rich. Oh my god, on the first kill that I do in a mass, someone gets the pet. That- <laughs> Okay, maybe this is the lucky group. Hey, purple 4 TJ got a Torva full helm. I am currently in a mass of Nex, so yeah, there's no splits to be had here. Oh my god, another Torva full helm still in a mass. So unfortunately, nothing for me. But it's always cool to see the drops, even if it's not in your name. 
Sometimes you can find these groups in the masses who want to branch out and make their own smaller teams. And any chance that I have to do this, I'm going to be doing it. I would ideally want to do four months, five months, as much as possible. This gives me the best chance of getting a unique in my name. But this time I did not get one. But uh, yeah, half of the kills probably is going to be in masses. Half of them in smaller teams. But uh, I'll try to get as many small teams as possible. It has now been 6 hours of next, and this is kill count number 80 and uh, I got nothing. I mean the loot is right here on the screen, it is not great, the supplies it costs is astronomical. But if you do get one single drop, which is 1 in 43 chance per person in the room of course, if you're 10 people it's really 1 in 430 for me to get it, then you make a lot of money. And so we have arrived at the final day of the video and I'm going to be doing Revenants the entire day for consistent money. I don't have as long today unfortunately but it's going to be like 6 hours of Revenants. And this is the gear that I'm going to be bringing. I'm going to be risking around 1 million GP if I have protect item on. If I do not have protect item and I get smited, well that is going to be a problem. I might actually be able to juke this guy. I think he's gonna jump over right as the- Oh my god, no way. <laughs> hey, he gets passed the wrong way, man. Easy log out. Now, of course, when it comes to revenants, you always have to deal with some PKers, but I think the most safe area and still pretty good leveled monsters is the Dark Beasts, and I'm going to be killing them most of the time. Maybe I'll swap and kill some others if I start getting PK'd a lot, but so far it seems fine. Yep, I am dead, 23 for the last hit, and another avarice down the drain. It's been 5 hours and 47 minutes, so I think I'm going to end it there. This is the loot that we got, so pretty good money, and we definitely made money even though we died a bit. So after selling everything, we now have all the platinum tokens right here, and we're going to be making this into pure cash now, just to see more clearly how much money we made in this video. And the answer is 1,528,000,000 GP. That is ridiculous. Obviously most of that is from the Tumigan Shadow, which is crazy that I actually got. But this is so nice because there are so many things that I want to buy. I'm not going to be buying them right now, but things like Torva, maybe a right, crossbow, inquisitors, a scythe, really depending on what activities I want to do. For example, for the on drop rate series, I now have the money to really just go ahead and buy whatever I need. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one which is most likely going to be an on drop rate or maybe another episode of the series that I started some time ago now time is money we will see what happens but hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one guys take care